today we're making a new video about how we can make the temperature of water rise and rise and rise until it reaches the boiling point, which in Celsius it's 100 degrees, in Fahrenheit it's 212 degrees, and in Kelvin, which is the hardest, is 373.1 degrees. So, we have two temperature, two, two thermo, two, I can't speaking, two thermometers, and um, we're gonna see, we're gonna turn this on, and make it so that the temperature rises, and then we're gonna see how it's gonna stop at 100 degrees Celsius, because we have two thermometers, this one is wire, wirelessly connected to this one, and um, they're both in Celsius. So, let's get to it. <laughs> Ta-da, look, it's at 100 degrees Celsius. And as you can see here on the graph, it has been sloping and sloping and sloping until it hit 100 degrees Celsius. You might be asking why? Because all that extra energy or temperature, whatever you want to say, is going into making the water from liquid to gas. So, fun fact, did you know that the pressure that makes the boiling point? So if you're at the top of Mount Everest where there's less pressure, the, um, Boiling point would only be 68 degrees Celsius, only. And on Death Valley, the lowest point in America, it would be 100.3 degrees Celsius. The more the pressure, the higher the, the higher the boiling point, and the less the pressure, the less. And if you were in space, where there's basically no pressure, it'd be in the um, negatives for the boiling point. So, in the next video, stay tuned, because in the next video, we're going to be making a video about the freezing point of water. Bye!